Welcome to another video update for a Pragmatic Reef uh, tank. So the tank is now nine months old and you know let's take a look at uh, what has changed in the tank uh, since the last uh, episode which was um, about a month just over a month ago a month and a half and uh, well it takes uh, nine months uh, for a baby to develop and uh, be born so let's see uh, how far does has the reef progressed in that period of time so first and foremost uh, let's start off with uh, my new addition so a part of blue tank this is has been always one of my favorite if not the most favorite fish of all time this is the reason I got into this hobby and I've been through I'm afraid to say I've been to I think six or seven of them in uh, this and, and, and a few other tanks in the past so they've always died on me this time around I've had quarantined him for a month and a half and I have introduced him slowly into this tank in a special acclimation uh, container so uh, other fish could get used to him to him um, so he's been harassed and he's not doing too well but it's but he's hanging on so far so um, it's a bit of a coin toss whether he's gonna be um, around uh, in the next month or two so if he's gonna make it then he's probably gonna stick around I know for sure that I'm not gonna have another um, powder blue until um, you know I until my next tank which eventually I hope will be there anyways uh, so let's all wish him uh, good health and uh, hope that he will do okay the anemone um, island one of them has split so I've given it um, away to uh, my friend and uh, the rest of them are doing quite well so uh, as you can see the tank has matured quite nicely um, the corals are growing and I would say that they grow pretty fast uh, let's take another look uh, the purple dragon is really uh, doing well as you can see it's becoming quite large uh, the rest of the corals are uh, slowly some slowly some um, some are growing quite fast as you can see I've changed the layout a little bit I think it's uh, a lot nicer now uh, things are uh, things are you know to my liking in terms of the aquascape and uh, uh, and, and the colors and where the colors are speaking of colors um, some of my uh, corals have colored up very nicely so I think I'm starting to finally be um, somewhat satisfied with uh, with my colors it's still not where I know um, I could take the tank but and I slowly getting there but we'll see how long it will take especially this guy here I'm not sure if you can see it uh, on this video but uh, this guy was completely brown and then I've moved it up high and it slowly uh, developed the purple tips and then kind of yellow green underneath and the rest of the body is still somewhat you know purplish brown so that looks uh, looks fantastic and it's a great feeling to see um, the um, uh, the color change on on, on you in uh, in just a, a short period of time so uh, what else we got some of the other corals Every, everybody like I said is, is, is doing well um, and overall as you can see things are uh, pretty nice on the other side from the other side as well I'm um, now testing out uh, uh, a few other approaches to um, to the water flow. I'll talk a little bit more about it next time. Uh, it's too early to say anything, but you know, I like to experiment and and try a few things. So that's really where we at right now. I really am liking this view as well. Just does not. You know, it does not get old. Um, so that's that's really where we at. I uh, thank you for watching it. If you want to know more about the tank in terms of my water parameters, schedule, maintenance schedule, and whatnot, just go to aquaticlog.com. Um, so aquaticlog.com and search for prag pragmatic reef, 
and you'll find my tank there uh, with all up-to-date water parameters and other details anyways um, thank you for watching that's uh, that's where we at and uh, I hope to uh, give you an update at uh, 10 months as you can hear I got other responsibilities to attend to now